Those last three rounds we fired there, I fired just to show you just how quiet the AK can be. It's hard to tell with a microphone, obviously, but today we're just going to cover some of the basics of suppressing the AK. Um, all in all, I'm going to say the AK is not all that suppressor friendly, at least as most AKs come. So we'll go over some things to think about here. This here is an Arsenal SLR 106 CR. Um, so it's an SBR version, but it's going to, what I say is going to cut across to uh, all different AK platforms. The first thing you want to think about when you're talking about suppressing an AK is concentricity of the barrel. So the bore's concentricity. Um, AKs honestly just aren't meant historically to be built to those kind of tolerances with exact concentricity of the bore. So there's a couple ways to check. Um, first and easiest way, and kind of you just want to do this regardless, is to mount your uh, suppressor system and just try to put a cleaning rod through it. So if the cleaning rod will go all the way through without any obstructions, that's a good sign. If it doesn't stop immediately, that one is, is a no-go. That's not going to work. So uh, that's one thing to keep in mind. The easiest way, though, and probably the most accurate way for most folks outside of putting your barrel in a lathe and just running it and seeing if it's concentric, is to actually remove your bolt, bolt carrier group completely, top cover, all that stuff, and actually look through the suppressor with a, a bright light behind the... Uh, a chamber there that will let you know more than anything that I've seen uh, definitively if the uh, actual threads are concentric to the bore so that is definitely something you want to look at more than anything so you want to check that out if it's not just kind of give up guys I don't know what else to tell you don't do it it's not worth risking a baffle strike and uh, ruining your suppressor that you waited months for and paid a lot of money for so I uh, recommend not doing that now there's a few things going on that are certainly helping us in this regard Number one, uh, U.S. made barrels. A lot of people, you know, like to say they're junk and garbage and all that stuff. That's fine. If you guys want to go down that road, that's that's for another video. But one thing I want to point out on those U.S. made barrels is everyone I've seen to date, every single one, and I, I get a lot of AKs through here, has had concentric threading. So that's certainly a good thing. Uh, that That's helpful for folks wanting to suppress the AK. Um, there are more and more adapters coming out now. This is a 24-millimeter uh, gun. So uh, we had to... Uh, this. Uh, half by 28th inch uh, AR threaded suppressor. Now these I think came from CNC Warrior, but there's a ton of companies now making quality um, adapters. So that's always a good thing as well. So for those of you guys that are running 14 millimeter threaded guns or 24 millimeter threaded, there are adapters out there for just about every type of suppressor mount going. So that is good. One note on that, when you actually thread down your uh, adapter, make sure you crank that thing down so there's little to no play in it. That little bit of wobble in there can be the difference between a baffle strike and blowing out the end of your can. So we don't want to do that. That's something to keep in mind. Another thing we want to keep in mind is like this rifle here, for example, is a 5.56 uh, five, chambered rifle. So if you're using 5.45 or 5.56 five, chambered rifles, throwing a 30 caliber can on there is always a good idea. It's just more, it's like sticking a hot dog down a hallway. There's just more room in there for error and uh, you're just kind of playing it safe. Of course, you're going to lose a little bit of uh, sound reduction, but it's one way to certainly play it safe. Now, this is a 5.56 can and a 5.56 gun with the adapters, and everything runs fine. I've had zero issues with it at all. So the AK, in general, is also a leaky platform. So you can see, if you take a look here at my light, let's see if I can get that on camera for you guys. You can see it's a tan light. We're starting to get some sort of uh, blackening going on there just because the AK leaks gas in a lot of different places, unlike the AR. So uh, that's just something you're gonna have to deal with. I know the folks over at Rifle Dynamics and Silencer Co have been working together on a project to sort of build a purpose-built silenced AK, or suppressed AK, however you wanna say it. And uh, that thing certainly has a lot of promise. I haven't handled one yet personally, so I don't know, but they've uh, apparently been sealing up a lot of that stuff. It's gonna help make the gun even quieter, because the AK, this, people will go back and forth on this, but in general, the AK's action is not as suppressor friendly as the AR. I'll make that comment. Uh, and I know people can argue that. If you want to argue that, argue it below in the comments. That's totally fine. Um, so those are some things to keep in mind on suppressing the, a the AK, I should say. Um, there are some AK suppressors out there made specifically for the threading on those. Uh, they're gaining popularity, but they're still relatively rare. And uh, generally speaking, you're going to have to adopt either a 308 can or a 556 can or or something like that, maybe 300 blackout as well. A lot of those are going to be rated for the 7.62 by 39. So that's it. A few things to look for, a few tips, and a few of the pitfalls, if you will, of suppressing the AK. Hopefully we didn't ramble too much, bore you too much, but um, 
that's pretty much it guys for right now we're gonna get back to shooting if you guys have any questions you can always post below in the comment section you can also post over at my facebook page as always but uh thanks for watching guys thanks for subscribing and we hope to see you in the next video